Well, you might be watching this and thinking, what on earth is a red flag meeting? Well, quite simply, it's a tool within the sanctuary model that allows us to gather the community together to address a group problem, not an individual problem. An example might be a collective disturbance, and you might want to go back and watch that video, or an unrelenting problem that just isn't being resolved. And in calling a red flag meeting, we're actually demonstrating proactive leadership in addressing a problem before it becomes a bigger problem. I wonder if you've ever been too close to a conflict or a challenge to see the solution. Well, what a red flag meeting does is invite people from outside the challenge into the challenge to help us objectively work towards restoration. Now, really helpfully, a red flag meeting should be structured around the self framework. That should guide the conversation. And that helps us to actually identify the losses that have led to the fact that this meeting has been called, but also identify the potential losses involved if we don't address the issue well. And the self framework helps us set really clear goals for what we're going to do differently and measure and remain accountable to the actions that we've put in place. Here's the catch though. A red flag meeting only works well if there's deep commitment to the seven commitments. Imagine, if you will, a red flag meeting where just one of those seven commitments isn't put into practice. You're less likely to get to where you need to go as a group if people are in a red flag meeting but not demonstrating all of the seven commitments that we've talked about. But done well, a red flag meeting can be a very significant tool in helping us actually find the creative solutions to problems that might otherwise stop us from changing and growing and thriving.